so I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today and I picked up some of the Easter things. So I'm going to start out with that. I saw this and I really, really liked it. And it doesn't really pertain to Easter, it just kind of pertains to spring. So I can leave it up longer than Easter probably, but it says April showers bring May flowers and then it has a bunch of butterflies around it. It kind of has like a tie-dye effect on it. So I thought this was really cute. No clue where I'm going to put it yet. Got this little guy. I think he is so adorable. I love him. And I tried to make sure that I got like the best looking one there because some of these are pretty ratchet. Not sure if I'm going to put him somewhere in the house or if I'm going to put him on our front door, but I think he's really, really cute. And I think that is pretty much everything that I picked up for Easter. I thought I picked up more than that, but I guess I just looked at a bunch of stuff, but I'm still waiting because I feel like they haven't put everything out yet. Maybe it's just my Dollar Tree. Not sure. The next thing I found was this, and this seems like it would be more than a dollar to me, but I don't know, maybe in the store it is only a dollar, but it is Arm & Hammer Pet Fresh Carpet Odor Eliminator, and it's got plus OxyClean Dirt Fighters, and it is 1.12 pounds, and I believe this is just kind of like a... Yeah, you sprinkle on your carpet, wait 10 minutes, and then vacuum it up. Since it's by like Arm & Hammer and stuff, I feel like this is probably more better for your vacuum than the Dollar Tree I love my carpet kind. And so I picked this. It's got a pretty fresh scent to it, so I'm excited. I think I'm just going to hold on to this until um, we start getting a stinky area of our carpet or something and try it out there. Then I picked up another little thing of the Classic Yellow Cupcakes. They only had one box left of these. I was hoping they were going to have some other flavors, but the yellow cupcakes are my favorite to turn into cookies, so I was glad they had one box. I picked that up. I picked these up to either take to work with me or just keep in the fridge, or I mean the freezer, and they are just mozzarella sticks, and they are by Snaps Snack Appetizers, so I think they're going to be pretty good. They seem like, I think this is a pretty good name brand. They have like the, um deep fried green beans I think and the jalapeno poppers but these kind of just caught my eye and I picked up two of the pizza snack rolls because these are really easy to take to work with you and I'm gonna have a long work day on Saturday so I needed something to just kind of grab and take with me the next thing I found Pringles so I got a pack of the original and one of the sour cream and onion I know they always have the Lay's potato chips there, but per I prefer Pringle ones. So anyhow, I picked these up. I haven't had Pringles in forever, so I'm kind of looking forward to those. My Dollar Tree had one bag of these left, and they are the Sara Lee Powdered Donuts. I saw that they retail for $4.78. So, or maybe it's $2.99. There's two prices on here. Hmm interesting but anyhow um they only had one powdered donut one of the yeah white powdered donuts left they had one of the cinnamon powdered donuts but i really don't like those so i didn't pick them up i feel like i'm either starting to get a cold or my allergies are kicking my butt lately so right now i seem pretty fine but this morning i woke up and this eye was puffy and swollen and like cut the top half of my pupil off like it was impairing my vision so I decided to pick up these allergy um, pills by Assured it's supposed to help with sneezing runny nose itchy throat itchy watery eyes which I have itchy watery eyes at the moment and they're horrible so with that I also picked up a yellow Gatorade because I figured I'll take this to work with me tomorrow morning and just kind of sip on it throughout the day and hopefully it'll give me like a jump start to feeling a little bit better. I picked up a Betty Crocker Easy Seal storage container because I thought these were really nice. They look and they actually have like a nice snappy lid but they kind of look like glass. Anyhow, I need to clean my other ones out that I bought the other day. I already put food in them, and I am not going to let them start growing mold again. I grabbed these because I'm going to put one in the bathroom, and I just have another one for backup. But they're the Glade, which I don't know how much these retail in the store for, but I, they might be not like $0.99 cent or a dollar. But when I saw Glade, I was like, ooh, that seems like a good deal. 
because they have like Glade and renews it and all that other stuff. But I really like this scent. I have this scent as like a little scent pack in my closet and it's the Hawaiian Breeze scent. That's where I'm going to put this other one because I put the one that I bought this last prior Dollar Tree haul. I picked up one of these. I think it was the renews it one though. Um, and I ended up putting it by the litter box, which it is kicking the litter box smell so good. Like, our bathroom smells so nice. So I bought one of these for the other bathroom, for our guest bathroom, and, um, I'm gonna put the other one in my closet. And then the last thing that I got, I've never seen these before, <clears throat> and I really have no idea how they work, but it's Revlon Nail Art Chalkboard. It says Matte Nail Enamel, and it has a one side and a two side. The first side's black and the second side is an actual color. So they have two different colors. So I went ahead and picked the colors up because to me the colors seem very springy and I don't I don't know how to use these. There's no directions on how to use these at all. It just has the ingredients on the back. But I picked up this one which is like a peachy nude and then I also picked up this one which is like a very very light um, mint green. So, if you know how to use these, comment down below. I, I mean, it says step one, step two, but like I said, I don't see any, any instructions unless maybe they're on it. I don't know. But if they're both matte, that would be really cool. They're both in like a frosted glass thing. Let's see, it says, oh, there are directions. I just have to peel it. Says, apply one to two coats of matte black shade, allow to dry, use side two with your nail art brush to create your custom design. So then does it like, does this part wipe off? Anyhow, I got it in study date, which is the nude one, and this one is pass slash fail. Oh, I get it. The whole um, school names. Genius. So anyhow, if you guys have picked these up or used these, let me know what you think about them down below and how exactly you used them because I'm still a little confused on this. But uh, we shall see. Nonetheless, I get two matte blacks and I don't know if these are going to dry matte, but if so, that would be really cool because um, I don't have that many matte colors and this little peachy and this mint green is really nice for spring but that is everything that i picked up from the dollar tree i hope you guys enjoyed this and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys mm -hmm.